All right, let's go over tracking. So if I wanted to blur a face and I wanted that blur to move with his face as he moved, laying out evidence as he moves here, how would I do that? All right, so I'm going to go to image and then blur effect. I'm going to drop that on here. Um, in order to pull up your effect palette, I hit Control-8, or it's also under Tools, Effect Palette. Alright, so, um, I've put my blur down here. Now I want to edit that, so I'll go into Effect Mode. And I'm just going to drop this blur on his face. Now, clearly it doesn't follow his face. I could go through here and drop drop some keyframes. Pull back up. And move it. Come in here. Move it. Over here, move it. And yeah, it it may get close. Um, but it's also going to take me a really long time to do that. So let me just clear that out. I'm going to put the image blur effect on there again. Okay, I'm going to edit that. Still going to put this blur on here. Okay, and I'm going to go up here to tracking. Uh, oh, yeah. Click this box, not the other box like, like I was just trying to do. Okay, and it brings up this box here. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in to make it a little easier, uh, but I need to uh, adjust here. If I hold Control and Alt, it gives me this little hand, and now I can move around freely. Okay. <clears throat> So we want to put this X here on a high contrast area. I'm going to pick right here in between his hairline and his face. Um, and I'm just going to drag and put that on that. This box, we want to make this as small as possible. And it needs to go around that high contrast area. So... That's containing that high contrast area there. Okay. And then this box here is the motion. So as long as this area, this box stays inside of this box, we should be good. All right. So I, I dropped one, um, one point, one tracking point. And this one should be pretty good. But um, to make sure I get the proper movement, I'm going to drop another tracking point as well. Create new tracker. Okay, this one's point B and the, and the box is green. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to come over here to the other side. High contrast area. That that contains the movement. Make the box kind of small so it, it's only looking at that one area. All right. And now we're going to let it do its thing. We're going to let it play through and see how it tracks. Okay, taking a look at these, making sure they're staying true to where I said that they were supposed to be. Let's see here. Looks pretty good. We don't have any, the, the, this is the, the line that it's going through. Uh, we don't have any runoffs that didn't think that it was supposed to be over here then pop back so I think I think we're good there so I'm going to close out of this and now up here I'm going to select oh this tracking point A and tracking point B okay now I'm going to hit play and as you can see that blur is following his face according to where those tracking points are so
that's it. That is how to track a blur.